I declare this thing open, whatever it is, the gaff prone duke who often said what he shouldn't. At times witty and at other times insensitive, Prince Philip has become known for being the most gaff prone member of the royal family, not shy of expressing his uncensored and politically incorrect opinions on a variety of subjects. The Queen's 95-year-old husband, who has announced he will retire from royal beauties in the autumn, is renowned for his escape off-the-cuff remarks while carrying out official engagements. From addressing Aborigines on a state visit to Australia in March 2002 and asking if they still throw spears at one another, to asking singer Tom Jones if he gargled with pebbles following the 1969 Royal Variety performance, his comments have been toe-curling and hilarious in equal measures. In 1966 the Duke declared British women can't cook, while in one of his most infamous outbursts on a state visit in 1986, he said that British students would become slitty-eyed if they stayed in China. Having spent nearly 70 years as the Queen's companion the tempestuous Duke has become famed for spicing up even the dullest of royal engagements but his unwavering, forthright style and devotion to duty has endeared him to the nation. Here, we round up some of the legendary, no-nonsense remarks from the longest-serving, and perhaps most amusing, consort in British history. 1966 British women can't cook in Britain in 1966. 1969, what do you gargle with? Pebbles. Speaking to singer Tom Jones after the 1969 Royal Variety performance. 1969, I declare this thing open, whatever it island on a visit to Canada in 1969. 1981, everybody was saying we must have more leisure. Now they are complaining they are unemployed during the 1981 recession. 1986, if it has got four legs and it is not a chair, if it has got two wings and it flies but is not an aeroplane, and if it swims and it is not a submarine, the Cantonese will eat it. At a 1986 World Wildlife Fund meeting, 1988, it looks like the Tarts bedroom. On seeing plans for the Duke and Duchess of York's house at Sunning Hill Park in 1988-1994, yuck, 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 come on get a move on shouted from the deck of Britannia in the leaves in 1994 to the Queen who was chatting to her hosts on the quayside. 1995, we didn't have counselors rushing around every time somebody let off a gun, asking are you alright? Are you sure you don't have a ghastly problem? You just got on with it. About the Second World War commenting on modern stress counseling for servicemen in 1995. 1995, how do you keep the natives off the booths long enough to get them through the test? To a driving instructor in a bunk, Scotland, during a 1995 walkabout. 1996, if a cricketer, for instance, suddenly decided to go into a school and batter a lot of people to death with a cricket bat, which he could do very easily, I mean, are you going to ban cricket bats? In 1996, amid calls to ban firearms after the Dunblane shooting, 1997, bloody silly fool. In 1997, referring to a Cambridge University car park attendant who did not recognize him. 1999, it looks as if it was put in by an Indian. Pointing at an old-fashioned fuse box in a factory near Edinburgh in 1999. 1999, deaf. If you are near there, no wonder you are deaf. Two young deaf people in Cardiff, in 1999, referring to a school steel band. 1982, they must be out of their minds. In the Solomon Islands, in 1982, when he was told that the annual population growth was 5%. 1984, you are a woman, aren't you? In Kermit, in 1984, after accepting a small gift from a local woman. 1986, if you stay here much longer, you'll all be flitty-eyed. Two British students in China, during the 1986 state visit. 1991, your country is one of the most notorious centers of trading in endangered species in the world. In Thailand, in 1991, after accepting the Conservation Award. 1992, oh no, I might catch some ghastly disease. In Australia, in 1992, when asked to stroke the koala bear. 1993, you can't have been here that long. You haven't got a pot belly. To a Britain in Budapest, Hungary, in 1993. 1994, are most of you descended from pirates? To a wealthy islander in the Cayman Islands in 1994. 1998, 
you managed not to get eaten, then? Suggesting to a student in 1998 who had been trekking in Papua New Guinea that tribes there were still cannibals. 1997, in Germany, in 1997, he welcomed German Chancellor Helmut Kohl at a trade fair as Reichskanzler, the last German leader who used the title was Adolf Hitler. 2001, you're too fat to be an astronaut. Two 13-year-old Andrew Adams who told Philip he wanted to go into space. Salford, 2001. 2001, I wish he'd turn the microphone off. Muttered at the Royal Variety performance as he watched Sir Elton John perform. 2001. 2002, do you still throw spears at each other? In Australia in 2000 to talking to a successful Aborigine entrepreneur. 2002, you look like a suicide bomber. To a young female officer wearing a bulletproof vest on store Noe E. Isle of Lewis. In 2002. 2002, do you know they're now producing eating dogs for anorexics? To a blind woman outside Exeter Cathedral. 2000 to 2009, well, you didn't design your beard too well, did you? To designer Stephen Judge about his tiny goatee beard in July 2009. 2009, there's a lot of your family in tonight. After looking at the name badge of businessman a tool paddle at a palace reception for British Indians in October 2009. 2010, do you work at a strip club? To 24-year-old Barnstable Sea Cadet Elizabeth Rendell when she told him she also worked in a nightclub in March 2010. 2010, do you have a pair of knickers made out of this? Pointing to some tartan to Scottish Conservative leader Annabel Goldie a papal reception in Edinburgh in September 2010. 2011, bits are beginning to drop off. On approaching his 90th birthday, 2011-2012, how many people have you knocked over this morning on that thing? meeting disabled David Miller who drives the mobility scooter at the Valentine Mansion in Redbridge in March 2012-2012, I would get arrested if I unzipped that dress. To 25-year-old council worker Anna Jackson, who was wearing a dress with a zip running the length of its front, on a jubilee visit to Brumley, Kent, in May 2012-2013, the Philippines must be half empty as you're all here running the NHS. On meeting a Filipino nurse at a Luton hospital in February 2013-2013, most stripping is done by hand. To 83-year-old Mars factory worker Audrey Cook when discussing how she used to strip or cut Mars bars by hand in April 2013-2013, children go to school because their parents don't want them in the house. Prompting giggles from Malibu Zarzai, who survived an assassination attempt by the Taliban after campaigning for the right of girls to go to school without fear. October 2013-2015, just take me f asterisk 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 in picture. Losing patience with an RAF photographer at events to mark the 75th anniversary of the Battle of Britain, July 2015-2017, you look starved. To a pensioner on a visit to the Charter House Bombs House for Elderly Men, February 2017, 